on the Tubat Grant, let's reason through what is going on. They may all be playing us, it could be organized based on historical events. If by the end of the month no one disburses, people should declare war and it will be high time the Nigerian Senate and House of Rep get involved on a more serious ground. Please pardon my ignorance, I am not accusing anyone talking about Abdullahi but I am suspecting everyone trying to convince us. While students of history as far as Grant Colony is concerned, what we are seeing today is not different from what we saw right from the time of Donald, the originator of Grant business in Nigeria. The old students know exactly what is going on. Registration is always smooth, but disbursement has one singular problem the mandate. During some kingdom, wealth came up to challenge Donald, claiming that the mandate to disburse belonged to them. Confusion arose, and one SA army son was engaged to drag the mandate. It got to the point that the same S.A. Amin San was said to be in possession of the mandate to disburse same grant which we are still waiting for till date. All the major players like Ishiba, Kingdom Wealth, ETC, who scammed the masses through same grant, used the confusion to create soft landing for Donald. Their principal went into hiding. Of course, this was organized crime. It wasn't long, Tepicon surfaced. The same set of people regrouped again and milked the masses. Some to their early graves, Elo Mama was fronted for that fraud. When it dawned on them, that the masses were too close to Elomama for accountability, the BOT came up and shielded him. Again, the mandate was taken away from Elomama. You know the rest of the story. Now, coming to Theophilus, we are hearing Abulahi and the mandate saga as usual. Like I said, I am not concluding, but I am only suspecting everyone talking about, it, talking about that because the handwriting is not different from the ones we all know. You have the right to prove every one of us wrong by convincing us that the story of Abdullahi is not the same. It's has always been internal arrangements, but it will appear to the outsiders as if there is a war going on just to create a soft landing for the set man. But if you are playing a script, don't bother to respond and don't forget that God is watching us. Thanks. Right. Uh, What's your reaction to this? Oh, please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section. Your voice will be heard long clear around the world and ensure you subscribe to our channel for more from the Let's Press. Please uh, do well to share this report uh, before we go to the next uh, stage of this uh, broadcast. Please uh, do well to share this report across all Supreme Liberation Center, Tepicon Golden Bridge, name it. Spread this report, make it very uh, Thanks and God bless. And then. Uh, Let's look at the comment, comment section, please. Uh, divine favor here it says, uh, I'm neither, I'm neither for nor against anyone. What we need is credit alert and disbursement without distractions. UAAG have given us a date. We are only reminding them to act differently from Tibet and keep award it is too early to start giving us excuses 
why is the document of the, why is the document of the restraining order which court sits on a Sunday because as it stands as at yesterday we didn't hear any court order story okay so when it's talking about UAG and you know issues of courts order let's uh, continue please uh, let's see then uh, this is from divine favor again it says uh, uh, it came from their spokesperson Emmanuel NSC he did not mention his name in that voice note but we all know his voice in grand community the same way Agboshan is still bad spokesperson okay still here taking more reaction stay tuned please then uh, on that reaction here says uh, breaking news please let's reach out to apostle Tio not to go to any court to stop andrew and Nwakama if they have the money to disburse any of them that have the money should just give us this week we have suffered enough we don't need another story this week let's appeal to both parties okay and then uh, also to uzoma to uh, to uh, wale yes wale is the one that just uh, posted what we the last comment we read then uh, uzoma to reply to wale saying uh, on what basis should he go to court Jeffla is supposed to be behind bars now but for the sake of peace the issue of court is just the imagination or creation of osim and his platform to keep people's mind going there's no such thing then a pastor sino was so says uh, go to court for what on which basis let's stop all this unfounded rumor not even this time be guided then uh, we have another comment here by very humble scene uh, the true fact about this bosman good morning house from all my gathering this week is heavily pregnant let's forget about who is in charge who is having the mandate whether or whether a or b the narration in your alert will tell you who actually is in possession of the mandate and the money is what is what everyone needs at this moment enough is enough to every form of delay we shall all return here to rejoice together by the special grace of god and this is all we can take for now thanks and god bless and show you subscribe to our channel and spread the report and buy from our place for report